Mole Group Magyar Olaj S. Gazipari Resvenitarsasig, Hungarian Oil and Gas Public Limited Company, commonly known as Mole, is a Hungarian multinational oil and gas company headquartered in Budapest, Hungary. It is part of the Mole Group along with Slavnift, Ina and more. Mole is the second most valuable company in Central and Eastern Europe. Mole placed 402 on the Fortune Global 500 list of the world's largest companies in 2013. MOL's revenue was equal to one-fifth of Hungary's GDP at the time. As of November 2015 the largest shareholder is Hungarian state with 24.74% ahead of SES Group with 7.35%, Omanoil Budapest with 7.00% and ahead of OTP Bank with 5.84%. More than 50% of shares are free floated. Mole is vertically integrated and is active in every area of the oil and gas industry, including exploration and production, refining, distribution and marketing, petrochemicals, power generation, and trading. It has minor renewable energy activities in the form of biofuels. It has operations in over 40 countries worldwide. It has nearly 2000 service stations in 11 countries, mainly in Central and Eastern Europe, under 7 brands, and it is a market leader in Hungary, Slovakia, Croatia. MOL's downstream operations manufacture and sell products such as fuels, lubricants, additives and petrochemicals. The company's most significant areas of operations are Central and Eastern Europe, Southern Europe, North Sea, Middle East and Russia. Mole has a primary listing on the Budapest Stock Exchange and is a constituent of the Bux Index. It had a market capitalization more than $7 billion at the close of trading on 3 November 2015, the second largest of companies listed on the Budapest Stock Exchange. It has secondary listings on Euronext and Warsaw Stock Exchange. Topic: History. Mol NYRT was established on the 1st of October 1991 through the merger of nine companies as a legal successor of former members of the National Oil and Gas Trust, which was established in 1957. By 1995, the actual integration of companies was completed, and the previously separated entities started to operate within one joint organization. Mole went for a privatization strategy in order to respond to international market challenges and also, it pioneered in the regional consolidation of the oil and gas industry. In 2003, Mole purchased a 25% stake in Croatia's national oil company INA. In 2006, INA and MOL launched a joint exploration project in the Slatina – Zalata area designed to secure new volumes of natural gas. The two companies are now forming a consortium in Bosnia and Herzegovina. After winning the recapitalization tender for Energopetrol, the leading petrol company of country, where they got an absolute majority by holding 67% of the shares, by 2004, Mole had bought, in several steps, Slovakia's national refiner Slavnift, and also Hungary's leading producer of ethylene and polypropylene TVK, over which Mole gained control with a stake of 34.5% in 2001. Mole further increased its stake in TVK to 86.56% in 2006. Between 2003 and 2005, Mole completed the acquisition of Shell Romania. In 2004, Mole entered the Austrian market by purchasing a fuel storage facility in Kornuberg, and a year later acquired the Roth filling station chain. In August 2007, Mole purchased Italiana Energia e Servizi SP, A, IES, owner of the Mantua refinery and a chain of 165 retail stations in Italy. In November 2007, Mole reported a new regional initiative to create a joint regional gas pipeline system called New European Transmission System, NETS. 
On 20 December 2007, MOL announced a strategic cooperation with Czech power utility CEZ. The joint venture with CEZ focuses on gas-fired power generation and related gas infrastructure in Central and Southeastern Europe, first launching two 800 MW power plants in Hungary and Slovakia. After selling 7% of its shares to CEZ within the scopes of a strategic partnership, MOL announced on 10 March 2008 the sale of an 8% stake to the Oman Oil Company for the same reason. In June 2007, Austrian energy company OMV made an unsolicited bid to take over MOL, which has been rejected by the Hungarian company. On 6 March 2008, the European Commission launched an in-depth investigation of OMV's unsolicited bid to take over MOL. On 24 June 2008, OMV received a statement of objections from the European Commission regarding the company's attempted takeover of MOL. In March 2009, OMV sold its 21% stake in MOL to Sergutneftegas. MOL called this move unfriendly. On 9 May 2008, MOL signed an agreement to acquire a 35% interest in a block in India operated by the Indian ONGC. On 24 May 2011, the second Orban cabinet bought the Russian Sergutneftegas's shares, thus the Hungarian state acquired 21.2% of the shares within the company. Topic. Operations MOL operates four refineries in Hungary, Slovakia and Croatia, 20.9 million tonnes per year refining capacity. Its refineries at Szajalambata, Hungary and Bratislava, Slovakia, are among the most profitable ones in Europe, with Nelson complexity indexes of 10, 6 and 11, 5 respectively. MOL's filling stations amounted to more than 1,700 in 10 countries at the end of 2013. MOL's petrochemical division is one of the largest polymer producer in Central Europe, operated in full integration with MOL's refining and marketing division. Its products are sold in more than 40 countries. For the natural gas division, the main focus is gas transmission via an extensive high-pressure gas pipeline, which length exceeds 5,700 kilometers (3,500 miles). MOL is a member of the Nabucco Pipeline project. In the field of renewable energy, MOL develops geothermal power production through the CEGE Central European Geothermal Energy Production, a partnership with Australian based Green Rock Energy Limited. The company supports the research of second generation biofuels at the University of Pannonia. The company has a 20% interest in the Catcher Area Oil and Gas Block in the North Sea, in company with Premier Oil 50% and Cairn Energy 30%. In June 2014, the UK Department of Energy and Climate Change gave final approval for the £1 billion development. Oil is expected to be flowing by mid-2017. In 2018, Lars Hoagland, Senior Vice President of Retail at Mole Group, participated in a Stanton Chase GAMECHANGER video interview and explained how Mole operates and its plans for future expansion. Topic. International upstream operations MOL has foreign exploration licenses in with date of announcement Yemen, exploration blocks 48 and 49, 2002 Kazakhstan, Fedorovskoy block, 2004, North Karpovsky, 2012 Croatia and Hungary, Slatina and Zalata, 2006 Russia, Betagansko oil field, Surgut 7 block and Machushkinsky block 2006-2007 Cameroon, Ingoso permit block, 2007 Iraq, Akri Bijil block, 2007 MOL has foreign production facilities in with date of announcement 
Russia, Zapadno Malobolic Oil Field with Yukos, later Rusneft, 2002. Pakistan, Tall Block, 2004 Mole Pakistan Tall Block webpage. Topic. See also. List of petroleum companies. List of companies based in Budapest.